Hello, and it's time for this week's Carrie Connects. I am Carrie Muggs, and each week I pull a card to let you know what's coming for the week. What to expect for the week and the signs and symbols to watch for. So as you can see, these are my all of my stuffed animals. I put them in my Christmas tree every year, and this year they're in my office, so at my home office. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope your holidays were awesome for you. Um, and the card this week is kind of cool. I, when I pulled it, I was like, you are kidding me. But you know, I should just know that spirit has its agenda. Spirit has its own agenda. So the card for this week is called the crossing, the initiation. So obviously we're crossing from one side of the bridge to the other, which is perfect for the new year because we're going to leave what does not serve us behind and we're going to leave our baggage behind and we're going to cross the bridge into the unknown, into new dimensions. See this circle? There's a circle on the bridge right here. It's like a mirror circle. It's like a opening circle. It's like a Doctor Strange circle if you guys ever watch Marvel. That means it's not really even to get to the other side. It's actually to get into a new realm or a new portal. So like almost a brand new life, like almost, and I'm not saying, you know, take off and leave all your family. I'm just saying you can create a brand new, a brand new life, a brand new a beginning. I love the, the thing on Hope Floats where it says endings are awesome. They can hurt. But endings just means as their new beginnings. So as we come to the end of this year, there's going to be new beginnings. So I kind of think that this is a weak thing, but also kind of a symbolic for the year because this is the year that we're going to start healing, that truth is going to be known, that you're going to find out who you are. You're going to be searching for your soul. You're going to be doing all these things. And even though that's great, healing and growth can be hard. And they you, lessons and when you heal and you grow, it's not just easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's not all rainbows and roses, but it's awesome when you get to the end of that because you see how much you have grown. So this week and kind of for the year, I think it's for this week, but it's kind of symbolic for the year too. So the crossing, um, we're going into this week, you're going to start a new a new beginning or a new adventure or something new, or you're going to look at your life and you're going to let go of what doesn't serve you and you're going to move forward into what does. This doesn't mean you have to make drastic changes. This doesn't mean you have to be like, okay, I'm going to exercise an hour every day. I'm not going to eat any carbs. I'm not going to do this. You could just say, okay, you know what? There's health inside this portal. There's growth inside this portal. There's meditation inside this portal. Don't do... Don't make a big thing of like, okay, I'm going to meditate. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to do all these things. Do it gradually. Because if you make a big list for yourself and you try and do all of them, sometimes it's overwhelming and you get super stressed out. So just take like a little bit at a time and make it. I mean, I know that some goals have to be specific. I know that they do. But honestly, you can work on that. So if you work on, okay, I want to be healthier, just write, okay, how do you plan on doing that? 10 minutes of walking every day and then once you once you get that down you can get you can add more so but you can see the big picture of okay i'm going to start by 10 minutes of walking every day but i'm also going to by the end of the year hopefully be healthier you don't have to be like i'm going to release 50 pounds you can just be like i'm going to be healthier so i kind of think it's interesting that this week's card was more symbolic of the year than it is the week but it's kind of a nice thing because it's going to be this year's kickoff. This week is this year's kickoff, right? So, and sometimes some people don't feel new beginnings at the beginning of the year. Some people feel them in the spring. I feel kind of mine in October, but I'm not going to lie. At the beginning of the year, I do like to go over some of the things in my business or my financials or, and I like to like make little goals or I like to be like, okay, I want to help this many people. I want to do this many classes. I kind of like get a year at a glance kind of thing. And sometimes you make those goals and sometimes you don't. But you know what? It's always an uphill thing. Even if you fail, it's always going uphill. So this is awesome. So the signs and symbols for this week. Obviously, a Doctor Strange portal, kind of like a round circle thing. I'll also take a mirror for that 
because mirror this kind of looks like a mirror and um now the bathroom mirror every morning doesn't count it's got to be like this oval kind of shape maybe like a kind of um it can't be any of the mirrors in your houses it has to be a different mirror something that you might see somewhere else um also to this bridge there's like a bridge so any kind of bridges that you see or getting from one side to the other um and i want you to notice on this bridge too look at how big if you look at how big at the beginning of it is and then look at how thin it kind of gets and then it gets big again which means there's going to be lots of lessons or lots of and i know people don't want to hear this because 2021 and 2020 or yeah, kind of crazy. But you know what? This is the year of healing. This year, truth is going to be, truth is coming out. You're going to figure out who you are. This is the year of growth and healing. So um, you're going to kind of come out of this in a good way, in a good, uplifting, positive way. And it doesn't have to be extreme. It doesn't have to be, I guess that's what I'm trying to say, but give yourself some grace. It doesn't have to be like working out or like even even with the business, I can't like be like, oh, I'm going to add everybody there. I'm so booked out that I feel bad for everybody. So I'm going to add six readings a day. You know, that's not, that's not sustainable for me. So I just have to know that I can only do three readings a day, but I could try and find other things to add on that will help be sustainable for me. Like the membership. I tried that last year and you know what I learned? It kicked my butt. So I'm not ready for the membership, but what other things can I do? I could probably do group, re group readings or events once a month or classes once a month. That way I'm not continually doing something until I get enough help that I can do the membership so I'm not doing it by myself. Does that make sense? So don't be like last year I did. I'm like, I'm gonna do the membership. I did the membership and it, it kicked my butt. I didn't fail. I just know what I can handle and what I can't now. So don't ever think that you failed, okay? Um, so obviously clouds, clouds are big, kind of a grayish cloud. They're not like blue sky clouds. And then I think that's about, and then rocks, like, like kind of like desert rocks or Arizona rocks, or these are not red, but still. So this is called the initiation. So this is the beginning. This is the beginning. This is the new, this is the beginning of you. This is like, it was so funny because you know, every day you could start over every day. I, my daughter's been going through some stuff. The one that, that I talk about that's been in the accident and she has been going through some traumatic things and she's been kind of going, she's been going to counseling. And the other day she said, you know, I just feel like I began, I'm just beginning my life and she's in her twenties. So every day you can begin your life. Of course we have responsibilities. Um, but you know what, as long as we take little tiny baby steps, we can get there. We can get there. So the numbers, 555, perfect. 555 means changes are coming. Changes. So get ready. Get ready for these changes. 444 is also perfect. So it's 54. 444 is also perfect because this is your angels guiding you and protecting you while you're going through these changes. You are safe and you're going to be okay. And change is uncomfortable. New things are uncomfortable, but you know what? You're ready. You know you are you know you are. So, and this isn't just about the things that outside of you. I feel like this year is about the things inside. You're going to work on you, the inside. So it's not just about your career. It's not just about your being a mom. It's not just about your relationships. It's about you because you know what? Those things grow and become awesome when you grow and you become awesome and you create boundaries and you do self care. And this is that year. This is that year that you're not going to be selfish and you're going to be okay to take care of yourself because once you do that, once you step into this self-care, then all of the other things are going to take place. So this is kind of cool. I know it's a weekly thing, but honestly, this feels more like the whole year. This feels like a year in review. So um, I will post this picture on my Insta on Carrie Mugs and on my Facebook for the Spunky, Spunky Spirit. So I love you guys so much. And this is going to be a good year, a good year of healing, growth. This is going to be an awesome journey. So, um, and just remember though, okay, healing and growth isn't always easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's, it's sometimes it's hard and sometimes you got to face things that you got to dig deep and you got to do your thing, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be beautiful 
once you get inside this portal. Okay. Okay. I hope you guys are awesome and I will talk to you guys next week.